back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. And if you do enjoy this video, make sure to get a thumbs up. On the screen are today's shout outs. Thank you all so much for your comments and your support. If you also want a shout out, all you have to do is subscribe with turn notifications on and be the first 20 people to comment hashtag chillification squad once you've done that. In today's video, I'll be showing guys how to make some super cool and easy fidget toys. I'll be showing guys how to make a water snake fidget and a stress ball. So without any further ado, let's get into today's video. Now for this, grab some small stickers or a small printed out photo. I'm taking a cute heart, a teddy bear, and a star. And then take some packaging tape. Unroll it like this and then place it upside down so the sticky side is up. Now take your sticker and tape it onto the piece of tape. Like that. And do the same thing with the rest of your stickers or images. Once you've done that, fold it over. and try to get all the air out. Now you kind of have this flap. Simply cut it off and start cutting them out. And now we have some cute laminated pieces. Now you can set them aside. Grab some kind of plastic bag. I got this from a packaging. It is a little bit thicker than those standard Ziploc plastic bags. Take a damp paper towel and just wipe the inside just so that there is no dirt in it. Now, since we are making a water snake, we need to measure out how big we want it to be. So this bag is clearly too big. So I'm gonna take my ruler. I think I'm gonna make it like three and a half inches long. I'm just gonna mark it with this washable marker. I'd prefer to use a washable marker so that it can easily come off. Right there. I'm gonna mark the other side. Just like this. Now go ahead and cut where you marked it. You can go ahead and grab that damp paper towel and just quickly take off the washable marker. Then grab a hair straightener and some baking parchment paper. Or you can also use thick packaging tape for this step. But I feel like the hair straightener works best. Straight here on the opening, go ahead and fold over your parchment paper, just like this. Now put your hair straightener on the lowest setting. Mine is 310 degrees Fahrenheit. Hair straighten it on the very edge. And you might need to do it a few times. As you guys can see, it is connected. And leave a little bit of opening so we can put the stuff inside. Grab some regular water and pour some in. Fill it in almost all the way to the top. Once you've done that, you can add in some food coloring or paint to give your water snake a really nice color. I'm just gonna add in a tiny droplet of red food coloring, just like that. This step is optional, but you can grab some kind of glitters and it will make your water snake even prettier. It'll make it super nice and sparkly. So I'm just gonna add in a few shakes. Now take your adorable stickers and place them in. Once they are placed inside, grab your tissue paper and put it on the edge. Try to squeeze out all the air that you can. And now let's hair straighten the rest. Super quick and easy. And now your water snake is actually all completed. This fidget was super fun and easy to make, so I'm gonna rate it a 10 out of 10 and I'd highly recommend it. Next up, I'll be showing guys how to make a DIY stress ball. Grab some kind of pretty balloon and some kind of empty plastic water bottle. Unscrew the top and then start cutting right above the label. Essentially, we just made a funnel. Now grab a tissue or something and just dry it off quickly because we do not want it to be wet. Place it upside down and put the balloon onto the funnel. Now take some foam beads. Here's how mine look like. Place them through. And by the way, before you do this, make sure there's like barely any air in your balloon. 
Now take your finger and start pushing them through. Once you've done that, slide your finger down to make sure every single foam bead gets inside. Twist it. And now pull it off the funnel. Now simply go ahead and tie your balloon. Now your stress ball is all completed. And you can actually go ahead and cut off the tail. It also makes some really great ASMR. And it is also slightly like a bouncy ball. I really like this fidget and I'd highly recommend making it. It's super easy to make as well. So right here, I received a beautiful paint by number by the brand Craft With Ease. As you guys can see, the packaging is super duper pretty and it comes in this large box. Right here is what we will be painting today. I can't wait to open and see what Craft With Ease has to offer. So yeah, now let's open it. Here. And here we have the painting. Whoa. The canvas material is so soft and it looks really nice. It's really high quality as well. On the top of the box, it has all the instructions, how to start, keep in mind, and all the different steps. We can actually turn the Craft of Ease box into an easel. So of course we have the actual painting and it is painted by numbers. So we're, so there are all the numbers right here. Here's a printed out version of that. We have some various paint brushes, of course the paint, we have some other information right here. We have their thank you letter. Here we have the final product and the key. Ah, here's a place to hold everything. Some little sticker numbers, things to hang your painting. Like That looks like that's it. So now we're gonna form it into the easel. Just like that. So right here I placed my canvas and it fits well. So actually for now, we're gonna set this aside and organize the paints. So right here I need to find this color and it is labeled 463 and then put on the number 20 sticker on it. 463. Oh, I found it right here. And now I'm gonna put the sticker number 20 on it. And I'm just gonna place it in number 20. Now I'm just gonna repeat this process and do the same thing with the rest. So I went ahead and organized all the paint. It did take quite some time. And also we have a few extras just in case we do not have enough paint. So now that this is all set, I can go ahead and start painting. So right here, I'm placing this paper like upside down just so that I don't get my table dirty. So right here, I'm all set up. I have my paints. I brought some water so that I can like wash off the paint. I have the painting with some paper underneath. And now we can start painting. So the instructions say that we should start off painting the bigger areas. So as I see number 23 takes up a lot of space. So that's what I'm gonna be painting. There we go and let's begin. So I'm gonna be starting off with the larger areas and then moving on to the smaller areas as you guys can see right here, they're super tiny. So that's why I'm gonna be using these tiny brushes that were provided. I'm just gonna start a time lapse and continue painting. My sister Sarah will be helping me out to paint the painting.
So me and my sister have spent around one and a half hours at painting this and here's how far we've got in. It is a little bit harder than we thought, but yeah, it was super fun and relaxing to do. We played some music, but we are gonna take a break since it is a little tiring. We still have a lot of the finer details to do, but we did finish the larger areas. I will get back to you once the entire painting is finished. So after two days of painting this painting, here is what I have. Me and my sister and actually my brother, we painted this painting all together and it did take a lot of time. Like I said, two days, especially the detailed parts like the hat and the hair, those took a lot of time since you need to be really careful and use a tiny brush. But yeah, I found it therapeutic to paint the painting. I'd recommend it to people who don't really have much to do and have a lot of free time who like to paint. Let me know your thoughts and how you guys think I did and whether or not you like this painting. I think it looks really unique and I've never done something like this before. So it was a really new and unique experience for me. You can get your own Craft With Ease DIY Paint By Number kit. Their website will be linked down below in the description box. And if you use the code on the screen, you will get 20% off your order. They have all sorts of different types of painting. This is just one of the many they have. And by the way, you guys, here's like the mess that I have after this. Thank God I put so much papers underneath or my desk would have been really, really dirty. Like, look at this. But I'm very happy I finished. It did take a lot of time and I do feel like really accomplished that I finished the painting. So yeah, make sure to check out their website. It'll be linked down below. So right over here were the fidgets we made today. Right here we have the water snake. I love the cute charms inside. And then right here we have the stress ball. Make sure to check out my other DIY Pidgey toy videos. They'll all be linked down below in the description box. So that's pretty much it for this video. I really hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and it'd be super duper awesome if you'd subscribe. I love you all so, so much. And don't forget to check out Craft With Ease. They'll also be linked down below. Check out their super amazing paintings. I love you all so, so much and I'll see you in my next video.